still live. <laughs> it's good to be in God's house this morning. Amen. I got my notes here. <laughs> Don't go from Genesis to the end of the book of Revelation. Y'all going to be able to stand that long? <laughs> Well, Moses stood and read the, the book. Nobody never complained. They stand there all day. But it's good to be in God's house this morning. Amen. These two last songs that were sung, uh, they're going to go right in with a message. So uh, you go to the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Last book in the Bible, won't it? We'll get right into it. So I'm just going to have you to stand and read a few verses. But let's, let's watch the whole chapter today. If you don't read it today, hey, take time sometimes today and read. All right, you. And he showed me a pure river of water at last, clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were of the healing of the nation. Amen. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they <laughs> shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and no need for candles, neither light of the sun, for the Lord giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he saith unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Father, we love you. We appreciate you so much, precious Lord. We thank you this morning, God, for the reading of your words. Lord, I ask you to help us to apply this to our hearts, God. To use it to bring you and your Son to glory and to praise. Him. <coughs> Lord, be with us on this good occasion this morning. Give us the words to teach back there, God. That these little fellas, they grow up, Lord, that they will grow and be strong in your word, Father. Lord, touch every heart here. Speak to us. Lord, I ask you to walk down between each pew, Lord. Lord, I ask you to fill us with that sweet anointing this morning. God, I thank you for those songs. I ask you now, Lord, for that sweet anointing upon me. I don't have all the words here this morning, but I know that you do. And I ask you, Father, for the words to preach and teach this morning. That it will bring you the glory and the praise of us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I had just finished up this week with the book of Revelation. <coughs> I'm reading through the Bible again. So, if you want to know more about God's words, Stay in God's words. Read them. Memorize them. And that's what some of them say that I have done. I've memorized the words. I can't write nothing down, Brother Ruth. I ain't no use to try. I couldn't even read it myself. <laughs> but when I open up God's words, I can read those. And he gives me the words to preach and teach. The, the Holy Spirit there. He read there where it said the river of water. That symbolizes the Spirit of God. And let me tell you what. The Spirit of God needs to flow in us. Constantly. His sister Kathy always said it. If one Sunday she don't say that her cup don't overflow, I'm going to go up our brother Rudy and I'm going to try to shake her. 
Because her cup is already overflowing all the time. She wants it to slosh out on somebody else. Her grandchildren, her husband, or someone. I love to see people that are full of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. They want to overflow. They want to show it to someone else. People don't have to ask you, are you a Christian? They can see it. That's right. That's right. They can see your walk. They can see your talk. They can see the things that you do that follow in Jesus Christ. Amen. And brothers and sisters, that's what we need to do today. John here is describing this. I love this book of Revelation. John, over I have the book of John in there. And he describes different things. He walked with the Lord. He was with the Lord. But over the book of Revelation, you remember when they wrote, he wrote it, they put him on an island of pack to get rid of him. They had done ball John and a pot of grease and they said the flesh was falling off of him. And said they'd taken a stick and just throwed him out of the pot and he was flopping around. Brothers and sisters, today that man served God and he stood up for God for what Jesus Christ had done for him. He knows that ever what was on the other end was worth what he was going through, John. Amen. 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 Yes. He never gave up. Amen. They got him up and placed him on the hour of Patton. We flew with him. But he surprised them. He wrote the book of Revelation while he was there. He's the only one of the twelve that lived down his life on earth without being crucified. Others were tormented. Y'all know how Peter wound up. They crucified him. And he said, if you're going to do that, put me on the cross upside down because I ain't worthy to be crucified like my Lord. Amen. And they did. But anyhow, in here, speaks of the river of life. Praise God. Over and over. The book of Genesis, God had a garden in it, yeah. right? Yeah. And he placed man in it. He built a special garden just for man. And he put him in it. And he said, you take care of it. Everything in him, you can eat it. You can eat it. Oh, with that one tree. And I believe God pointed it out. You see that tree right there? He said, you leave that tree alone. That's for good and evil. The day you eat that, you will surely die. And it. What happened? Well, the man said, uh, he eats the fruit. And he tells you in there, 3 and 24, I believe it is. 3 and 24. <clears throat> yeah, 3 and 24. Read that. So he drove out the man, and he placed it at east of the garden of Eden, sure, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the three black. That's right. Man sinned, and God placed that there to where he could keep the tree of life. He put them out. All them years. 
And ever since from that day forward, sin has been in the world. A dark day. Dark days. Read that to her now, did you? Yeah. Yeah. In Genesis 2 and 9. You know, when God comes and brings that, we slip into heaven one day. We're going to get to enjoy all of this in the presence of God. He said that we're going to see Him. We shall be. See Him. And there won't be no night there. We won't even need to be a candle fire. Other son. For the Lord God give them life, and they shall reign forever and ever. Can't you imagine the light is shining? And now, look at verse 7. And it said, And behold, I come quick. Blessed is he that keeps the sayings of this prophecy, of this book. Brothers and sisters, the songs are saying remembering to keep them. God wants us to keep the prophecies of this book. How are we going to keep that? How are we going to teach it to these young people <coughs> if we don't do it ourselves? That's right. Amen. Thank you. We better give them an example to follow. Y'all don't know how proud I am of this boy. Amen. I am. I tell different ones about him just about every week. He's got a heart of gold. God bless <laughs> I may not never get to see it. Yeah, I will. I'll take that back. God's already used me. He gave him a voice to serve. He's the testimony. See, God gave each one of us something to do if we do it.
and would go down a little bit further. Look at verse 10. And he said unto me, Seal not. He said unto the prophets of this book, for the time is at hand. Brothers and sisters, we're living in a day that the time is at hand. We look around on us. I preached here a while back about the, the testaments and stuff in the courthouses, how they remove them. What is that? That's against God law. That's right. Yeah. They move them out. They don't want to hear it no more. Oh, that's in the past. Some of them say, oh, Jesus would come. Yeah, he's done come. And he is gone. No, he is still here today. He's in the spirit today. He's here in this building today. And if you know Jesus Christ as your Savior today, he's in your heart today. And it's time for preachers to stand up and talk about what Jesus has done prepared. And Jesus is coming one day and he's coming to take his church home. Yes. Yes. Jesus in there said, I am the bright and the morning star. How many of y'all ever get up in the morning time real early and go outside? Just look to the east. Come on. He said, Dozy, get up early and seek me, he shall fire me. You look and you see the bright morning star. All of you got these scientists and everything. See, they got another name for it now. It ain't the bright morning star. My daddy called it the bright morning star. My mama did. My daddy's daddy. And on down the line. I don't think we should change it now because you can get up and you can look out there and it's the brightest star in the world around. And it always shows up just before daylight. I sat there and talked to the Lord, drinking my coffee and praising Him because one of these days He's going to come out of the east. Yes. Is that bright and the morning star? And he's going to take his church home. Yes. He ain't coming out of this building. He's coming out of this church. Yes. Right. Those that have done place their faith and trust in him. Yes. He's going to take them home. He's going to take them home. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things. In the churches, I am the rock, the root, and the offspring of David, and the bride and morning star. You see what he said? You can believe the scientist if you want to. But he is. You see, God had his plan all the way down. All the way through. Because he one of these days. He's going to put man in the world. Amen. He's preserved. And we're going to be right back in that garden. Enjoy the life. And if you read back over in the other part of it, you'll see more that the lamb will lay down with the lion. Why? 
calls everything that eats in heaven on the new earth. We're talking about the new earth. Yes. Everything that eats on there, we ain't going to get that old big juicy steak, CJ. Because the trees is going to provide everything that we eat. And the line of each straw, that's the reason there won't be no eating meat there. The line will not eat meat. And the cook can lay down. Yes. You see, John described all of that. He seen it. He was an eyewitness to it. And he wrote it down. And God has passed it on down to people to preach and to teach. <coughs> we got some that ain't preaching. Oh, they don't want to. Some of them in the church don't want to hear about heaven. But let me tell you what. There's going to be a separation with Jesus Christ is going to separate the true from the unjust. Because he tells you in there, those that's unjust, let them stay. Yes. But those that's faithful, they're going to have their great rewards. When he comes, he's going to have it in his hand. And listen to this. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city from the things which are written in this book. And I like what he said. He which Testify this time, said, Sure, I come with you. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Listen to the last verse. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. 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 Let me tell you what. John told it like it was. He's passed it along to us. And we need to apply it to our hearts. If we want to go see, the Bible says there's a new heaven and a new earth. We're going to be on that new earth. They talk about peace on the news all the time. There'll never be no peace here until the day Jesus comes and takes over. But there'll be a brand new one. There won't be no sin in it. No sin whatsoever. You know what I think about it? That makes me want to rejoice. Amen. There'll be no sin there. And you see, the reason God wants to place us in this garden is that He's showing us, I'm still going to take care of you. I'm still going to take care of you. Yes. I'm going to feed you. You got all the water in the world, you know. Here it is. It's free. And he said in there too, if you want to drink, it's free. Come and get it. You ain't got to buy nothing. It's there. Do you love him today? Yeah. Do you appreciate it? Amen. Have you drank that water free? If you ain't today, he opens his hand. Amen. Come and join. Come and join. Father, we love you this morning. We appreciate you so much, precious Lord. God, thank you for this message this morning. I know that I failed you, Lord. Father, I ask you to forgive me what I failed you. But Father, I ask you to help us to apply this to our hearts. To use this for Help us, Lord. Give us the power and the strength, God. To stand and be a good child of this old world, Lord. Father,
Father, help us as the little baby song in that little light. God, that our light will shine, that others will see that light. I love you, Father. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Brother Jason, would you just...